Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here and welcome to another video. I'm opening an art portfolio from the year 2002 when I was a budding artist, seven years old, you know, I was taking the world by storm. You could just tell that there was some natural talent here that just completely untapped, you know, completely untapped market and now I'm stuck doing let's plays and making music. My, my true, my true passion was clearly art as you're going to see in this, this portfolio, this, I'm thinking of sending it off I think I think it has potential I think it can stand up there with the top abstract artists of the country there's the first one it is a beautiful leaf flower a flower a yellow flower dare I call it a dandy lion then we've got this this is just contemporary art at its finest this is a collage of different pictures from old magazines truly truly a spectacle of modern art dare I say then, a sketch, just merely training brilliance. You know, it's all about just perfecting, you know. You know it takes time, you're gonna get there, you know. Um, this, exceptional. Exceptional colored design, patterns, overall. Kind of, you know, has a rush sort of feeling, rustic. You know, it's kind of like it's saying, are those flowers dead or are they living? And, you know, my name there, proof that I did this, you know, clearly, yeah, it's, it's an excellent, excellent contemporary design. Um, then this, a different colour. Blue. You know, only one weird sort of imaginary sort of uh, flower. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to give it a name. I think it's actually my own creation. Then, of course, if you can see what that is, look at that. Jesus Christ. Getting born. On a hill. Or in a manger or something like that. I forgot. I don't know why we did that. I did not know that the art college had a Christian influence, but apparently it did. Then more flowers. Look at that. Design there. Very washed out colors. Intentionally done. You see, and very intentional. You know, and that's that's the key to art. Then comes one of my favorites. One of my absolute favorites here. This is a rustic dog. This is a sketch dog. You know, it's done on that brown paper. Very very intentional design very rush rustic sort of deep sort of you know that's that's art i mean that could go on an album cover easy this yeah no not even gonna look at that one that was a mistake okay now this and we're going for the jared leto joker clearly here i was clearly about 12 years ahead of my time you know the announcement of you know suicide squad the joker and all that batman this 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 is before batman this is before the Joker, the new Joker movie. I mean, obviously, their designs were based on that excellence. Uh, now, in all seriousness, this one, I actually really quite like the colours in this one. Um, it's got this, like, this blue, so I don't know what it's actually meant to be in the background. There's some beautiful little looking apples. Watermelon. A bit too many pips in there, clearly. I keep saying clearly. I mean, you know, this everything always clear as day. I mean, this, this, is, this is proof right here. Uh... Santa Claus, Santa Claus. Um, it's uh, not not the not the Dutch one, which is a completely different sort of uh, story. Another dog, another. I actually uh, nicknamed this guy Mutt Dog. That's what I called him, Mutt Dog. I think he may have been a cartoon when I was younger, basing you know inspiration at a young age. And that tree, I mean, straight. It's like a pineapple tree. It's like SpongeBob's house. Truly, an excellent piece. Uh, here we go, here's another one. Yet more, more plants. I mean, we seem to love doing plants. I think plants are my passion. You know, a bit of an environmentalist at a young age. Clearly. What's this? What's in the box? Ooh, Mutt Dog Reborn. Black and white. Kind of, kind of a chilling sort of aesthetic right there. Another, another sort of uh, superhero kind of muscly guy. I mean, obviously taking on my figure as a kid, I mean, that's what I look like. I look like that at a kid, as a kid. Round face and all. A weird nose. And then that's having the best till last. The best till last. This one here, though. You know, it's a, it's a monster. It's what later was designed as a Skylander. Uh, I think this is exactly what Skylanders look like these days. Pretty rough, kind of, not much personality there. But, you know, there's a bunch of Z's sort of coming out of his body, so he clearly, you know, exudes strength. Exudes. Alright, final one. Vincent Van Gogh, recreation, eat your heart out. 
Ah, look at those trees again. Beautiful trees. This, you know, very creative, unique perspective on trees. You know? Anyway, I'll cut the crap. All these pictures, they're decent. I mean, I was like, what, nine, seven years old? Oh, they're not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, obviously, no, I do not think that highly of my own work. Uh, you know, for, for its age, it was okay, but there was some kids doing some ex really, like, a lot better stuff. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next Real Life Thursday. Goodbye.